Hello students, welcome back. So this is a question from gate 2003 exam. It's for two marks. They have given you this diagram and question. The input to the circuit is A and the final output is B. Okay. They are saying initially at time is equal to zero. Each and every wire contained logic level zero. That means the voltages are low. Input is low. That means both of these are low. This is low. Both of these will be zero zero. When both the inputs of XOR are 0, 0, you are going to get the output 0. Okay. What are these? They have told you that these are non-inverting buffers. Okay. This is not a NOT gate. This is a buffer. And it, it will just add a delay. That means, see this one is a buffer with a delay of 3 nanoseconds. Whatever is the input waveform. For example, this is the input waveform. That will be outputted as it is. Okay. See waveform is outputted exactly same but with the delay of 3 nanoseconds that is the delay of this buffer you can notice the input changes from uh, low to high at time is equal to zero that transition is delayed by 3 nanoseconds and this transition at output will occur at time is equal to 3 similarly you can analyze this that is just for example this part, it's not given in the question. I've drawn it just to explain you what is this buffer. Okay. Even though we have discussed it in theory lectures, still I'm repeating this. Now they're saying at time is equal to one. So current time is one. T is equal to one. They're saying this input has changed to A. And the question is from time is equal to one to 10 nanoseconds. How many times will this output be changed? Okay. How many transitions will occur at B? This is the question. Now I'm going to display the image of question. You can read it. You just pause the video and read it. So. So I hope you have read the question. Now the current time is T is equal to one. First thing that changes is this input goes high. Okay. So all of these will become one. Let me explain what is happening. See, this is one. We just made this input A1. That one will immediately reach here because wires have zero delay. Now one and zero, XOR of one and zero is one. That one will reach here because delay of this XOR is also zero. Okay. Similarly, this is one and zero and delay of this XOR gate is also negligible. That means immediately it will output one. This is the first transition. Initially B was zero. So we changed it from zero to one. That is first transition that is high. I'm writing a upward arrow for this transition from zero to one. You can see the arrow will be upward. Okay, so this final output is one now. Now let me explain what is happening with this buffer. See, at time is equal to one, we changed input from zero to one. That one reached here immediately, but it will take two nanoseconds to reach here because this buffer induces a delay of two nanoseconds, which also means after two nanoseconds that means currently we are at time is equal to one after two nanoseconds time will be three nanoseconds at three nanoseconds it will start outputting a high okay let's analyze this buffer at time is equal to one we got this one immediately here and immediately at the input of this buffer but it will take four nanoseconds to output this one that means at time is equal to five nanoseconds Currently, we are at time 1, its delay is 4. So 1 plus 4, 5. At 5 nanoseconds, this one will also start outputting a 1. Okay. And this is discussed. Now let's see what is the next change that is going to happen. We only made one change. At time is equal to 1, we just made it high. That's it. Rest all the changes will occur due to these buffers only. Next change that is going to happen is that will happen automatically. We didn't do anything that is at time is equal to three. This one will reach here. Okay. Now I can erase this. Okay. At time is equal to three. This one reached 
this input of XOR gate. Currently, the time is 3. I am writing 3 here. Now, 1 XOR 1 is 0. Immediately, this output will become 0. Okay, because buffers delay is negligible. And immediately, this one will also become 0. 0 XOR 0 is 0. Immediately, this final output will also become 0. So, it is again changed to 0. And the second transition is a transition from 1 to 0. Okay. Now, this 0 will take 4 nanoseconds to reach this input because of this buffer. That means you count 4 nanoseconds from the current time. 3 plus 4 is 7 nanoseconds. After 7 nanoseconds or when time is equal to 7 nanoseconds, this output will become 0. Currently, it is 0. At 5 nanoseconds, it will become high. And then at 7, 7 nanoseconds, this will become low. These are the future events. Okay. Now, 0, 0 is 0. We have seen it. Okay. So, this input will remain 1, 1 forever. Okay. Because now, we haven't changed 1 ever. This one has propagated here. And both of these inputs will remain stable. Because both of these inputs will remain stable always. You can see we don't have any future event here. This output 0 will also remain stable, but this buffer will show two transitions, okay, high and then low. Let's analyze what is the output, how is the output changing. So you can see this difference is 2 nanoseconds, that means at 5 it goes high and then remains high for 2 nanoseconds. After 2 nanoseconds it becomes low. How did we get this 2 nanoseconds? You can see that is the delay of this buffer. Okay. See, initially this was 0. We made it 1. That 1 came here. And only after 2 nanoseconds, this buffer made it 0. Okay. That transition took 2 nanoseconds. That's why we are having 2 uh, difference 2 here. Anyways, let's analyze this. Now the next change that is going to happen automatically will happen at time is equal to 5 nanoseconds. At time is equal to 5 nanoseconds, this input will get 1. So I am erasing this. And I am writing 1 here. 1 x or 0 will be 1. So this final output goes high. And the transition is a upward transition. Okay. Now let's see what is going to happen next. Currently the time is 5. Next event is at time is equal to 7. At time is equal to 7, this one, will, this uh, buffer will again output 0. So I am erasing this future event because currently we are at time is equal to 7. Now the time is 7. This will output 0. 0 x or 0 will be 0. Immediately this output will go 0 because buffer don't have, sorry. XOR gate don't have any delay. So this is changed from 1 to 0. And the transition is from high to low. You can see we made 4 transitions at B. So your answer to this question is 4. 4 times the output has shown a change. Initially it was from 0 to 1. Then 1 to 0. Then again 0 to 1. Then again 1 to 0. And finally this output will remain 0 as long as we just don't make any change here. Okay. Now we can say the circuit has stabilized. Okay.